Dr. Elizabeth Hodgkins is the Director of Veterinary Services at SIVA Animal Health and the author of Your Cat, Simple New Secrets for a Longer, Stronger Life. Dr. Hodgkins, here's, here's the scenario. Your cat begins to spray. I mean, spray. And there's a difference between spraying and voiding. Correct. Well, that's a fun topic to talk about, but that's it's an important order. one, really. Explain. Right. Well, the spraying behavior you're referring to, Steve, I'm sure, is where, where the animal sort of backs up to a wall or a piece of furniture and actually horizontally ejects urine onto whatever it's trying to spray. It's very, very different from... And then it drips down vertically. The vertically. tail probably quivers. It does. It the, actually shakes yeah, just a little bit. The exactly. cat may howl or yowl yep. a bit. That's right. As opposed to... As opposed to just the regular uh, behavior we associate with urination, where the cat hopefully goes into the litter box and actually squats down and voids vertically down into the litter. But if not, there's a puddle somewhere on the floor that you if wish there weren't. But they that's miss different, for some reason. But that's different than spraying. It's different than spraying. And so sp if the cat is spraying, what might you do first? Well, this is a, or it's a normal behavior except in the home if the cat is not generally a sprayer and then it's a change in behavior and you definitely want to check with your veterinarian what's going on why has this cat ordinarily well behaved doesn't urine mark my walls or my couch why is this cat changing its behavior and there are so many disease conditions other medical problems a cat can have that will cause this change in behavior got to rule all those out before we start assuming that this is going on because of stress or some change in the cat's head and the way it's perceiving its home. However, that just might be the case. And oftentimes right. it's because of interlopers outside. Right. Uh, in fact, I think that's the most common, assuming your cat is spayed or neutered, right. that is perhaps the most common reason that you have these outdoor cats. They may be own cats or feral cats. Right. They may be spraying actually at your house or around it, and your cat can smell it. Right. But for sure, your cat is seeing these other cats. So right. what do you do? Um, a change in the dynamic or the social hierarchy that the cat perceives, whether it's because a new cat has come into the home, uh, cats are now being housed in a much smaller area than they used yep. to, or there's an outside cat. All three of those scenarios are basically the same problem, and that is the cat now perceives that its territory, once established in its prior situation, is now threatened, and it now needs to reestablish its territorial dominance. Cats don't need big territories. They are perfectly happy with small territories, but they want those territories, and they will mark the perimeter of those territories. Um, so in this situation, if it's not a disease process that requires some medical management, there are some there are a number of things that pet owners can do with their veterinarians, um, including something as simple as using pheromones. I think probably all of your viewers and listeners are familiar with the concept of a pheromone. It is a molecule that is put off by one animal to send communication signals to other animals. And it's not an odor. You can't really smell pheromones. But uh, all of us, and certainly dogs and cats, do produce these molecules that tell other dogs and cats, I've been here, this is mine, stay away, or this is safe. There is a product that SIVA produces, has for many years, very successful, called Feel Away, F-E-L-I-W-A-Y. It is a pheromone produced by the cat's cheek. We're all familiar with how cats like to mark us, um, the, the couch, the, the corners of a door jam. Everyone's seen cats rub up against all of the items in their environment with their cheeks. And what they're doing is transferring this pheromone to whatever they're rubbing up against. And this pheromone tells that cat when it comes back around, this is safe, this has been marked, this is part of the safe, secure perimeter of your existence. And so it's an extremely important signal to that particular cat and other cats that might enter the environment. And and the other things you need to do if they are outdoor cats, for example, is close the blinds so your cat can't see the cat. Try to scare exactly. away those cats with a motion detector sprinkler. That's right. Those sorts of things as well. But the feel away certainly is, can make a huge difference. Dr. Hodgkins. Of course. Of course. Thank you, Steve. Thank you so very much. You bet. And I hope your cats are hitting the box on target from now on.